If you tried to cook a chicken breast with a lightning strike, <laughs> it would instantly <laughs> char the outside while leaving the inside raw. No. Lightning has a power density comparable to that of a small nuclear detonation. Just vastly shorter in terms of duration. That energy is so concentrated, it doesn't have time to conduct inward. The chicken would explode from steam flash boiling. Instead, set up a tall rod to catch the lightning strike, sending most of it safely into the ground. Lightning rods do not work like a household electric circuit. They dissipate charge buildup to reduce the chance of strike in the first place. Then have a smaller part of the rod in a big tank of salty water. When the So salt is a decent conductor, but lightning's rise time means the impedance of the circuit is going to be dominated by inductance, not resistance. So the water will flash into steam explosively. Strikes, the electricity would heat up the water, and that water no. is used to heat up the chicken. Lightning is not steady state energy transfer. This is the equivalent of trying to run a nuclear plant with the energy left over from a reactor meltdown. The lightning keeps striking. The tank heats evenly, no, cooking no. all the way through the chicken. No, it is not a reliable steady state heat source. This would be like trying to run a power grid over random reactor trips. Unstable, impossible to control, and catastrophically dangerous.